Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh, Hukum Nama Sahib Today is by Sri Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj in Bilawal Raag, Ang 833 of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Vaheguru Ji, Bilawal Mahalla Chautha, Hare Hare Naam Sital Jal Tiyavoh, हर चंदन वास सुगंध गंधिया मिल सत संगत परम पद पाया मैं हिरड पलास संग हर बुहिया हर हर नाम शीतल जल त्यावह हर चंदन वास सुगंध गंधिया मिल सत संगत परम पद पाया मैं हिरड पलास संग हर बुहिया जप जगन्नाथ जगदीश गोसैया शरण परे सही जन उबरे ज्यो प्रहलाद उधार समैया रहाओ पार अठार ह मह चंदन उतम चंदन निकट सब चंदन हुइया साकत कूड़े ऊब सुख हुए मन अभिमान विछड़ दूर गैया हर गत मित करता आपे जाने सब बिद हर हर आप बनैया जिस सतगुर भेटे सो कंचन होवे जो तुर लिखिया सो मिटे ना मिटैया रत्न पदार्थ गुरमत पावे सागर भगत पंडार खुलैया गुरु चरणी एक श्रद्धा उपजी मैं हर गुण कहते तृप्त न पहिया परम बैराग नित नित हर त्याए मैं हर गुण कहते पावनी कहिया बार बार खिन खिन पल कहिए हर पार न पावे परे परैया शास्त्र वेद पुराण पुकार है धर्म करहो खट कर्म दृढैया मन मुख पाखंड परम विगूते लोभ लहर नाव पार बुढैया नाम जप हो नामे गत पाव हो सिमृत शास्त्र नाम दृढैया हो मैं जाए त निर्मल होवे गुरमुख परचे परम पद पैया एहो जग वर्ण रूप सब तेरा जित लाभ है से कर्म कमैया नानक जंत विजाए वाज है जित भावै तित राहे चलैया एहो जग वर्ण रूप सब तेरा जित लाभ है से कर्म कमैया नानक जंत विजाए वाज है जित भावै तित राहे चलैया सतगुरु रामदास जी महाराज is blessing us today satguru padshah ji vigind shabad har har naam sital jal tyavho satguru padshah ji says that the whole world wants peace the whole world wants inner happiness guru amdas ji says that if you want this inner peace tyavho meditate upon har har naam the name of hari the name of god and the name of god is sital jal it's cooling water what will it do This cooling water of God's name will put out the fires of desires and anger and greed inside you. Har chandan va sugandh gandhaya. Vaheguru's name, Hari's name, Lord God's name is like the scent, is like the fragrance of chandan of sandalwood. Sugandh gandhaya. And just as the sandalwood tree itself, not just is it fragrant itself but gandhaya gandhaya means to make others fragrant the name of god has a fragrance of peace of happiness of glory and any of those who chant the name of god just like any of the plants near a sandalwood tree are infected with its fragrance in the same way if you repeat the name of god you will be blessed with the fragrance of god's virtues satguru ji says mil sat sangat param pad paya main herid palas sankhar buhiya mil meeting with the sat sangat 
That Sangha, that congregation which was focused upon Sat, on the truth, the company of the saints, the company of those Gursikhs who get together and meditate upon Wahiguru, those Gursikhs who get together and talk about the truth, about eternal Wahiguru, Parampadpaya, meeting with that Sangat, meeting with that congregation, that group, I have Paya, I have been blessed with the Parampad. Param means the highest, Pad means state of living. What is the highest status to be connected with Wahiguru? And Guruji goes on to describe this Mahirida Palas Sanghar Buhiya. In India, there are types of tree. One is the Arind tree, and the other is the Pala. The Arind is called a castor oil plant, and it has very Horrible tasting leaves. And the Pala tree as well has very bitter tasting leaves. But Guru Sabji says that I was like the castor oil tree. I was like the Irind tree, the Pala tree. But Sanghar, when I was blessed with the company of the Sangat, I now and fragrant. Buhiya means to be emitting a beautiful fragrance. What does this mean? Before I went into the Sangat, I had the bitterness inside me of ego, of anger, of greed, of anxiety, of fear. But meeting with the Sangat, I now have the fragrance of love, of purity, of devotion, of trust, of spiritual knowledge. Going into the Sangat, you will be blessed with this fragrance. Jap, meditate upon, chant the name of Jagannath, that Vaheguru, who is the Nath, who is the, the Lord of this whole Jag, of this whole universe. Jagadis, who is the Master, the Is, means the Master of this Jag, of this world. Gusenya, the one who's created this whole world, all of the universe. Saran Pare, Seijan Ubre, those people who have fell into the Sudden into the protection of Wahiguru. Sayyijan, those humble beings, Ubre, have been saved. Sadhguru Pasha is saying, all you need to do is fall into the protection of Wahiguru. If you fall into the protection of Wahiguru, you will be saved. Jo Prahalad Udar Sameya. Just like Pagat Prahalad was Udar, was saved, was liberated, and Sameya and merged into God. Just like Pagat Prahalad was saved from the sword of his father Harnaksh. God came to save him at that point. When Harnaksh pulled out a sword and said to Prahlad, you must stop chanting the name of God. At that point, God came in the form of Narsing, ripped Harnaksh to pieces and saved Pagat Prahlad. Rahao Guruji says, pause and think about this. Just as he saved Prahalad, so Wahiguru can save you as well. Par Atharaha Mahachandan Utam. Par Atharaha means amongst all of the trees, all of the plants, all of the vegetation. Amongst all of them, Chandan Utam. The sandalwood tree is known to be Utam, the highest. Chandan Nikt Sab Chandan Huya. Everything which lives close, nicked, near to the ch- sandalwood, near to the chandan tree, sabachandan huya, they are all blessed with the fragrance of the sandalwood tree. In the same way, Guruji is saying, O human being, if you go into the company of the Sangat, if you go into the protection of the Guru, then the Guru and the Guru Sangat will bless you with that fragrance. Sakat kude ub sok hue man abman vichad dur gaya. Now, ub sok hue, what does that mean? Ub sok means trees that even while standing in the ground, so they haven't been uprooted, they haven't been cut down, but while standing in the ground, some trees just dry up. Either because their roots are being eaten away by insects underneath. Or for other reasons. And in the same way, 
even whilst living in this world where all of the blessings of God are being poured upon us at all times, there are still some people who are sakat, who do not believe in Vaheguru. Kude. Why? Because they are enveloped in their own falsehood. Ub sokahue. They are just like those trees that are standing in the ground but are still drying up. Man abiman vichar dur gaya. Because of the abiman, because of the ego in their minds, they vichar. They are separated from Vaheguru and dur gaya. They go far from God. In the same way that tree is standing in the ground and it is still drying up, in the same way they are in this world, which is God's garden, but they are still drying up because their roots are being eaten away by the maggots of ego, greed, desire and hatred. Har gatmit karta ape jane. That karta, that creator Lord Vaheguru himself, jane, knows his own gatmit, his extent. Gatmit literally is talking about his greatness, his glory. Only Vaheguru knows his extent, only Vaheguru knows his limits. In other words, Guru Ram Das Ji is telling us Vaheguru is limitless. Sab bid har har aap banaya. Vaheguru is the one who creates all of the arrangements. Bid means arrangements. Vaheguru is the one who puts everything into play. Jis satgur pete so kanchanova. Those beings who meet with the eternal Guru, so kanchan hove, they become priceless like gold. Jyotur likhya so mitay na mitayya. Whatever is written in the preordained destiny, tur likhya so mitay na mitayya, it cannot be wiped away by anyone. What is Guruji saying here? Guruji is saying that if you have upon your forehead written that you are going to meet the true Guru. No one can take this away from you. And if you meet the eternal Guru, if you meet with Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, and not just meeting with the Guru physically, but spiritually, if you read the Guru's Bani, if you take the time, if you make the effort to meet with the Guru, to actually meet internally with the Guru as well, to meet with the Guru physically and internally, what the Guru is telling you to do, so continue hove. You will become golden. Each day of your life will become golden. Each moment of your life will become golden. Your mind will become golden. It will become priceless. Your body will become golden. Your body will be beautiful because it will be honoured to perform the seva, the service of the Guru. Wherever you go, you'll be blessed with the seva, the service of the Guru. Your tongue will be golden because it will chant the Guru's name. Ratan Padarth Gurmat Pava Sagar Pagat Pandar Khulaya The Ratan Padarth The treasure of jewels is found by following the Gurmat, the Guru's wisdom, the Guru's way, the Guru's teachings. Sagar Pagat Pandar Khulaya If you follow what the Guru says, then the ocean of devotional worship, of that treasure of devotional worship inside you is Khulaya, is opened by the Guru's teachings. That is the only way of opening it. Guru Charani ik sarda upji ma har gun kehte tript na paya. When I fell to the charani, to the feet of the Guru. When I fell into the Guru's protection, when I started following what the Guru said, when I attached myself to the Guru's feet, when I attached myself to the Guru's words, to the Guru's shabat, to the Guru's bani, ik sarda upji. Faith in that one Guru welled up inside me. Upji means to well up. Now when I kehate, when I chant the praises, the gun, when I chant the praises, the glory of Vaheguru, I cannot be satisfied. I want to keep chanting more and more and more. Parama bairag net net harate aye mein har gun kehate paavni kahiya. Param bairag net net harate aye. Guru Ram Das Ji says that those who nit nit, who daily, continually, every day hartai meditate upon Vaheguru, inside them they are blessed with this state of Param Bairag. Param means the highest state of Bairag, means unattachment. Even whilst living in this world, they are unattached to their cars, their wealth, all of these things. 
If you meditate upon the Guru's words daily, you will be blessed with this state of living. And this state of living is beautiful because there's no anxiety, there's no stress, there's no hatred, there's no ego. And these tukka have been translated in various ways. One way of looking at it is that Me Hargun Kahate Pavani Kahia. The Pavani, the love which I felt inside whilst Kahate, whilst singing the Gun, the, the praises, the glory of Vaheguru, that Pavani, that love I felt, I've Kahia, I've told you that in these words, in this Bani. These words of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj are telling you about that love inside. Another way of looking at it is this. Whilst I have been kahate, whilst I have been repeating the praise of Vaheguru, whilst I have been meditating upon the Naam, upon the name of God, the more I have the more I say it, the more Pavani, the more love wells up inside me. Bar bar kin kin pal kahiya. Bar bar again and again, kin kin, each and every moment. Pal means the amount of time it takes you to open and close your eyes. Each second, each moment, each instant, kahiya, I want to say, I want to chant the name of God. Har par na pavai. Har par na pavai. Pare prayya. But even whilst chanting this, the more I chant, the more I realize, har par na pavai. No one can find the par, no one can find the limits of God. Pare prayya. The limits of God are limitless. Pare prayya. Sast bed puran pukar hai tarma karo khat karm dridaya. The Shastras, the Vedas, the Puranas, they say that tarma karo, perform these actions, that by performing certain actions you will get certain rewards. And what are those actions? Khat karm, six types of religious ri- ritual. And what are those rituals? To study knowledge, to teach others knowledge, to perform religious rituals, to get others to perform religious rituals, to give charitable gifts and to take charitable gifts. These are the She Tarmika Karam. These are the Khat Karam. That the Shastras, the Vedas, Puranas talk about this. But Guru Sahib Ji says, Manamukpa Khanda Parma Vigute. That following their minds, all they are doing is performing this parkhanda, this outward hypocrisy, param vigute. And they are vigute, wandering around in param in doubt, lob lahar nav, nav par budaya. Instead of giving me any peace, what do these rituals do? They just increase the lahar, the waves of lob of greed inside me. Nav par budaya. And the boat of my soul is Buddha, is weighted down by the bar, by the weight of these actions. Taking and giving charitable gifts, ego is welling up in my mind. Whilst studying and getting others to, other, others to study, I still have greed in my mind. Whilst performing outer rituals, I still have greed, anger, desire, hatred welling up in my mind. But Guru Ram Dachi tells us, if you want to be rid of this, what are you going to do? Nam Japaho, meditate upon the name of God. Nam Me Gatapabho, by meditating upon the name of God, you will find liberation. Simrta Sastar Nam Dridaya. Guru Ram Ji says, for me, the Nam, meditating Dridaya, means to completely meditate, completely focus upon the Nam, completely single mindedly focusing upon chanting the name of God, upon chanting the Guru's Bani. That is for me the Simrtiya, the Sastar, that is my. Simrti, that is my Shastra. And the Simrti and Shastra were religious texts. For me, that is sacred. Dridaya, meditating upon the name of God. Homme jaye ta nirmal hove. Gurmuk parche param pad peya. Those Gurmuks, those who follow the Guru, they are parche, they are coloured. They are completely imbued with love. For God, when they chant the Naam, this love for God dwells up inside them. Parampadapaya, they find the highest status of living. And what is this highest status? What happens in this highest status? Hommajai. 
the inner ego is jaye, goes. Tan nirmal hove, and they are purified. That is, this is the greatest state of living. Eho jag varna rub sab tera. O God, this jag, this world, all that is created is your varn, is your color, is your rup, is your form. Sab tera, this all belongs to you. Jit lava hai se karma kameya. Whichever way you love, how you attach us, that is the karm, the actions that we do, kameya. Nanak jant va jaye vajahen, jit paave te tarahe chalaya. Satguru Ram Das Ji says that all of the beings of this world, all of the jant, they're just instruments, va jaye vajahen. You are the one who plays us all. Jit paave, as it pleases you, te tarahe chalaya. You put us upon the path which pleases you. So Guru Pyaro Sat Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj today in today's Hukum Nama Sahib has talked about the Chandanavas, the fragrance of God's name. And Guru Maharaj has told us that the fragrance of God's name is what, what happens. Anyone who comes into the protection, who comes into the Charan Sharan, the lotus feet and the protection of the Guru, anyone who comes near that sandalwood is infected with that beautiful fragrance. And if you come into the company of the Guru, if you truly come into the company of the Sangat and the Guru, you will be blessed with the fragrance of love, of purity. Iho jag varna roop savatera jit lav hai se karma kameya Nanak jant vajaye vajja hai, jit paavai te to rahe chalaiya. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh.